Welcome to the Artful Leadership Overview, the path to be admired, respected, and trusted as a leader. Artful leadership is built on two foundational questions we challenge leaders to explore. The first is, who do you art? Who do you admire, respect, and trust as a leader? The answer to this question reveals the alliances that a leader believes exist inside and outside an organization. It is these alliances that are critical to the success of any leader. The second question is, who art you? Who admires, respects, and trusts you as a leader? This question cuts to the heart of how a leader is perceived by those they lead and influence. Understanding this is a critical step in becoming an artful leader. The answer to these two questions are key predictors to how you as a leader will likely interact and relate to others you lead and influence, and will determine how able you are to effectively lead and influence others. When we task leaders to answer these two questions, it becomes an interesting exercise indeed. Try it yourself. Typically, the list is shorter than it should be to be a leader that can have a true and lasting impact on others. Then it becomes a question of determining if the two lists are comparative, and often they are not. Then, a leader must determine which actions need to be taken to reach that end. That is the path to artful leadership. Now that you have a framework for artful leadership, let's move to the goal of artful leadership and an explanation of the model. The goal of Artful Leadership is to create true and sustained followership and commitment by those you lead and influence. This is not an easy task. Achieving Artful Leadership is an intentional act, and all three components are required. Let's define each of the components separately. Admiration is a result of leaders doing the following. First, it is by delivering consistent results to the organization and doing this by working with and through others successfully. Secondly, it is by representing the organization with the utmost credibility. The ability for a leader to reputably represent the organization is a main contributor to being admired by others. Representing the organization and building a brand that others can be proud of is a key driver to being perceived with admiration. Respect requires a leader to show a high level of accountability, both of themselves and holding others accountable. Also, it is clear in our studies that a leader has to have a high level of fairness and discretion in leading others to be perceived as respected. And finally, a leader has to demonstrate supportiveness to the people that they lead. This takes several forms and is essential in earning the respect of others. Trust is built over time and only begins by a leader extending trust first. If this doesn't happen, then trust will not be extended in return. Trust is also a product of keeping confidences and is also a product of how open a leader is in sharing information. Another factor of trust that we have discovered in our research is the degree to which a leader is an advocate and conduit of collaboration. The path to artful leadership is about leaders exploring and accurately answering the two artful leadership questions, who do you art and who art you? Our research has uncovered the key 16 drivers for leaders to be admired, respected, and trusted. What is clear is that leaders can lack all or any of the components of the Artful Leadership Model. What is just as clear is that unless a leader is able to harness all three components, they will not be able to create and sustain true and committed followership. To learn more about Pinnacle Performance Systems Artful Leadership Solutions or to start your own journey to artful leadership, contact us on the web at www.art-fullleadership.com or via email at art.fullleadership at gmail.com.